Hello everyone. So today we're going to answer a riddle with information there. The link to this demo will be in the description. How can knowing the answer 20% of the time be better than knowing the answer 70% of the time? So here's our scenario. Doge forgot to go to class, but it is exam time and he has no idea what any of the material in his class is. The exam is 50 true or false questions. Doge can only guess. What is Doge's expected grade on the exam? It's a 50%. You should expect to get about 50% of the questions correct and 50% of the questions wrong. You know, assuming that there's no psychological design tricks you can exploit, each question has about a 50% chance of getting correct. Now, you need to get a 65% on this exam to pass the class. So to calculate the distribution of grades for Doge, I've used a binomial distribution, which is very simple. It is how many times something happens given a probability. Simple for flipping a coin or determining how often a six comes up if you roll the dice. Very simple. It happens or it doesn't happen. So this blue curve is Doge's grade distribution. As you can see, it's centered at 50%. It's perfectly balanced, so he has an equal chance of getting a 40% as well as a 60%. Now, Doge's probability of failing is 98%, and it's represented by this blue dot, so he has a very, very high chance of failing this class. Now, so we have two other students. We have Virgin and Chad. Virgin knows the correct answer 70% of the time. Chad knows the correct answer 20% of the time. From our intuition here, Chad in all likelihood should have the lowest grade. He only knows the correct answer 20% of the time. Because Chad realized that he can only correctly answer 20% of the time, he just decided to answer the exact opposite. So, since it is a true or false test, if he thinks the answer is true, then he will answer false. If he thinks the answer is false, then he will answer true. If we think about it, Lacking any form of intelligence is equivalent to producing randomness, but useful information is a divergence from randomness. Doge, who has no intelligence in the subject, behaves randomly. As in the case of Chad, if you expect to perform worse than random, it may not be that you know nothing, just that you hold a different set of information, which is also useful. The wrong answer. What is useful in information is knowing what information you have and what information is being asked. Chad knowing the incorrect answer 80% of the time is more useful than Virgin knowing the correct answer 70% of the time. In this context, knowing the incorrect answer and the correct answer are the same thing, as long as you know that you are biased in one direction over the other. Because of this, because of the inversion technique, Chad's grade distribution is shifted to be centered on 80%, and thus his probability of failing is extremely low. Virgin has a 20% chance of failing, but Chad has a near 0% chance of failing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more educational content. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.